<laughs> like you begging to get buried alive and nigga i'm gonna dig that motherfucking grave for you i'm gonna dig that shit for you like what the fuck they keep trying hard to get at me but i don't think it's sticking oh they only want to be with me because they see me winning it's in my ear what is up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl shay so today we got the king los freestyle with the la leakers freestyle number 95 so um King Lowe's on the freestyle shit is just untouchable, period, 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 period. If you saw my videos before them, I deleted them bitches like a dumbass. Best freestyles from 2017 all the way I think I did to 2019. He was at least in every one of them, I think. So this nigga is hard as fuck. Now, I fucking um, got the lyrics right here, as you can see, because I'm like, bruh, I want to be able to see what the fuck he's saying. Like, I can hear, but I want to see. Shout out to Genius for having the motherfucking lyrics. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just get on into the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LA leakers, just right. incredible <coughs> sour milk. You know that man, one of the best to ever do it. Mm. And after this freestyle, might just be claimed the best to ever do it. <clears throat> man, listen. B more's in the building. 410. When King Lowe's calls, Ravens. the only question is. Or the response is, say when. Yeah, exactly. Say when. He said the Baltimore Ravens sent him here today. Yeah, I'm here in courtesy of the Ravens. Okay. Right. West Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, you man. did. We, going, we just going to jump right in it like this. Get right to it, love. We just going to do it like that. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I don't even get it. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Look. Let me talk to him this. I Y'all can see the news. So Look, they say it never come to fruition unless the vision is crafted. My drive is relentlessly, repetitiously mastered. Progress is positive, pessimism is backward. Since failure ain't attractive, my next decision was drastic. I made it out of pitfalls strictly due to my passion. Supreme intellect, not the mission, wisdom to match it. Name another nigga that put up 50 in practice. This shit is magic, even my exhibition is classic. Funny, I ain't end up broke like you predicted. It's a thousand niggas like you, no need to be too specific. I outmaneuver goofies like you with a few decisions When the proof is missing, you get reduced to a euphemism Shit, the truth is wicked I just threw a surprise party at a see-through You know what? All the fuck I'm gonna say right now Is this nigga wordplay is dumb Fucking dumb, bro Like... If this shit, now obviously freestyles, you know, people have their different takes on what a freestyle is. Now I feel like what he's doing is a freestyle. But someone will say, okay, well, is this off the dome? Because if this shit is off the fucking dome, it's even more. Like, even if you write this shit, this is fire. But if you are literally sitting up here coming up with these words as you fucking going, this shit is incredible. This shit is fucking incredible. And I don't know if I jump. Fuck. I don't know if it jumps. Attention, my nigga. I'm stupid gifted. This food will mess with. Clear struggle when she a hustle. I'm trying to stretch hands. Stream me too long and I tear muscle. Nigga, where was you? When we was down and we slaved in kitchens. With my homie putting cut on that bird like it's Cajun chicken. I'm amazing. They parade, but my crown wasn't made to fit him. You got signed off my signature style. That's plagiarism. I'm Miyagi with it. Trying to kick it like I can kick it. You just begging to get buried alive. But I can dig it, she ain't cop the biscuit. Man, this block out and plot to visit. I'm in a no! hole. Look, I need to stop pressing the space word. This nigga fucking said, go back up. This nigga said, you just begging to get buried alive, but I can dig it. <laughs> like, you begging to get buried alive, and nigga, I'm going to dig that motherfucking grave for you. I'm going to dig that shit for you. Like... What the fuck? I watch him visit, plot and listen. Get close enough that I can kiss him. Since he pessimistic, I ain't run into my optimism. <laughs> I ain't run into my optimism? Oh my god, bro. Like, come on. Come the fuck on. Are you serious right now? Is this nigga serious? Like, can you? Oh, man. Come on, man. Oh, 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 bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. King Lowe's. Come on, man. Hey, they want that old thing back. Yeah. Right. What else we got? He ain't even near done, bro. Come on, LA Leaker Show, man. Oh, my God. Look, 
King Los, LA Leakers. Man. This Look, so fire. Everybody in the 410. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yo. That was just yeah. the warm up. That was just the Look. warm up. Let's go. Look. To hip hop or Socrates, I'm top five in the fifth spot to mockery. The fifth pop, you do the Macarena, you get rocked like Slipknot's discography. You click watching me, hoping I stumble. You bitch watching me, you know it's a jungle. She like lions, not liars, nigga. I figured you'd be slow to rebuttal. She's standing there drooling and dripping. You can only be humble, just be a gentleman and put your jacket over the puddle. You poodle, that pun was a puzzle. I just want to rebuttal. You know she keep them extensions and she come with them bundles. Have fun with them double entendres, as I bet. Wait. Oh, oh my god. This nigga said I just bought a Rapunzel. You know she keep them stitches and she come with them bundles. Have fun with them double entendres. Oh my god, bro. Like Rapunzel with the long air uh, air hair. She kept the motherfucker in extensions. We already know extensions to the gun. <sighs> she come with them bundles. Obviously drugs. <laughs> oh my god. This nigga, what the fuck? Parking from the nonsense that's sponsored. I'm non-responsive, just armed with a conscious. That's in and out dimensions like triangular shape. Isosceles flying saucers defying the laws of physics. My mind's like a luxury prison. Ain't no escaping these bonds exquisite. I breathe laws, be art exhibits. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to keep pausing. But he said, where are we at? Ah, my mind's like a luxury prison. Ain't no escaping these bars exquisite. Now, obviously, the word exquisite means, like, fancy and shit, right? I think it means fancy. <laughs> Don't quote me. But I think exquisite is, like, something nice, something fancy. And this nigga said my mind's like a luxury prison. Then he said these bars are exquisite. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like Shaq spinning off his pivot. Niggas reaching. Y'all forget it. Even that metaphor was a metaphor for how it's hard to get it. Y'all ridiculous. Love to take massage and hype it. Like I ain't blessed with some shit. I gotta guard my life with. A lot of rappers try hard to bite it. But they joints ain't nearly as tight as with this arthritis. My plate is, if you live in arthritis? Even niggas I wrote for it and they send me my fucking money. Why well, ain't got a song with such and such? You wonder, buddy? I'm the only one that got overlooked by his understudies. I feel disrespected to the core of my soul. My skill been perfected. No ignoring my glow. I I will lift a weapon and perform my foe. Then still raise my son without ignoring my goals. My rap reflect the dreams that I see in the night. So I ask to project. Being, I'm a being of light. To be in this arena, I mean just to be in this light. You might need the work ethic of a Venus and Serena that study the sun and Jupiter while Venus in between them. My city for the hustlers. You seen the demeanor. 88 dope boy cleaning the beam. But it's deeper than a four finger ring in his people. When his mama was a crackhead that thinks she was a diva. And his daddy was a hothead for the cream. With a fever, oh. he's trying to live life. Nobody gets your plight. But you on teams with the Reaper. The bitter consequences seem sweeter and sweeter. It's like, it's so much. It's so fucking much. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? This nigga said, but it's deeper than a four finger ring in his beeper. <laughs> like, huh. What the fuck? Like, how? I just want to know how. If anybody knows how, tell me how that this nigga is this fucking hard. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm in shock right now. Fucking shock. Being a cheever, duck three from the heater. Press the prison population, got the streets in the sleeper. But you a smooth criminal. You can make that quarter flipping off one hit. You can turn a king to a leaner. Well, my cousin made 60 million and couldn't quit. It's a thin line you between know. a fucking fiend and a dreamer, nigga. You know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, King Lowe's. Like, I, I, I want this to keep going. I can't really do one more. One more beat. I don't we, understand. We cannot bro. let you leave without. I don't fucking understand, bro. Let me get into it. King Lowe's is here. The green juice is here. Highly professional. Widely respectable mind and vision. Cosmic, celestial, extraterrestrial rhyme encryption. In a galactic, perpetual, cosmic, and sonic rhythm. Of a verbal god constructing astonishing composition. Man, my competition seems to impress me. I need challenge. And mumble rappers only exist because I need balance. When I seek malice, revenge reeks of a sweet foulness. I defeat cowards. Remove your shoes at the Sheik's Palace. I rebalance the solar system with chakra energy. 
the binary code in my carbon causes divinity and the glow in me but i can't even grow in peace these fake conscious niggas vibrating too low for me why is what you throw to me boy ain't no hoe in me i crack his with this kc and it ain't joe to see niggas best see me over yeah. can't nobody oversee me i'll fry that nigga egg you think you're getting over easy Bro. literally just said I'll fry that nigga egg if he think he getting over easy like what what like it's just like I don't understand I don't fucking understand how this nigga is so fired and he do not get the motherfucking recognition he deserves bro like he don't he don't he fucking don't like i'm just wild andre biggie flows and yeezy pop and pump big ellen jeezy pimp juicy gucci easy two live crew infused with steve wonder how they view me see me rick james a brown mj breezy s and double o p for sheezy eight ball mj g o d b d o b or cmc dmx e p m d master p and c and b the g and me the man that you fit me with them but in the scope of things i'm way more 50 than m they took my hopes and dreams and turned me to a savage 21 21 tony montana she gripping my shoddy she called me poppy i went to bugatti she ride the dippers like it's a ducati she do some cardio listen to cardi and turn up some nikki and switch to a bobby that she thinks she loaded she vegan do yoga and rollers and blur and we listen to molly body call homicide this is the body i throw dick in the body just to kick dick in the body just to kick it with me a bit through karate like y'all to this world i'm a star you ain't thorough you ain't thorough you a girl you a broad i got a glit it got a stick i got a burl i got a rod if nerds looking for beef like hurl and kuma <laughs> yeah. from a block come on why can't you be and the crooked judicial systems never let the kings rule where history falsified and taught in every school to disconnect you from your culture like everything cool see what happened See, 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 now I feel like this nigga about to start preaching and giving motherfucking lessons. Let's see what the fuck he said. He said where history falsified and taught in every school to disconnect you from your culture like everything cool. Now, we already know what the fuck he's saying. Like, when you in school, they teach you what's in the history books, right? And what's in the history books is a lot of times false. Like, they got you thinking, you know, Christopher Columbus discovered motherfucking um, America, which is a fucking lie. <laughs> it's not true, bitch. And they teach you that shit. Got a whole motherfucking day dedicated to this nigga. Like, what? And it's like, it, we supposed to be cool about that shit. That they don't teach us proper fucking history, but they teach us the white man history. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to get all into that shit. But I feel like he about to... You know what I'm saying? Give y'all a little lesson. So I'm here for it. Self-esteem, dude. Got you praising the lineage of oppressors with recessive gene pools. Ooh. I guess from that perspective, we are fools. Mm -hmm. I mean, you niggas was accepted. We was chose. And right! Y'all like, motherfuckers was accepted. We was chose, bitch. What are you saying? What are you saying? What the... What did JC say to motherfucking um, Iron Solomon? Fuck, what did he say? He said, fuck, 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 fuck. He was like, something about black on Jew. Something about he said we the originals. That, I'm, I'm sorry. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Aesthetically proposed and we don't vibrate. That means we diametrically opposed. Yo, oh my God. I hope this message electrifies. The European be leveraging privilege through ethnic bias. If you ain't do no scholarship on this, don't dare speak. Just that ether that's gonna separate leaders from mere sheep. It's like whipping on the back of a slave with bare feet when historically black college universities pledge Greek. It just isn't in your favor. It's a sick, twisted, sadistic, ritualistic nature. Look. You think it's odd they slave you? If the slave master ain't served the same God they gave you? Like, this nigga is saying so fucking much, bruh. Okay, we, we, we gotta read this shit. Look, you think it's odd they slaved you if the slave master ain't served the same God they gave you? Okay, let me see, let me see. Because I'm, try I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Now, a lot of people be like, all right, like, don't you think it's weird that, like, we were slaves and they gave us a Bible to to pray to the same God that they pray to? 
and that God had you in oppression and you were literally being a slave, you find that a little strange? That may be what he's saying. That's what I take from it. I always say I find that to be really weird. That's why I don't be all like, yeah, like praying to that God that they have taught us about this whole time. You know, the white man, which we clearly know Jesus was not black. But you know what? I'm not here for all of that. I'm just saying. That's interesting. I wouldn't dare pray to a God that a slave owner prayed to. They here, I'm there type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, seems a little backwards. But you know what? You're not supposed to question. So I'm, you know I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Hold up. Look, hold up. Look. You think it's odd they slave you? If the slave master they serve the same God they gave you 400 years later and you hardly stable and you turn around and beg that same God to save you? Look, word to the sunrise. Homie, save yourself. Everything else, get a thumb drive. The young lives of black queens lost, misplaced, who've been raped, beaten, indoctrinated, and disgraced. We've been wet, shackled. And mutilated, put through degradation, disrespectfully viewed and hated. I mean, truly flagrant, treated like shit in this fucking nation. Then in 1850, slaveholders came with this publication called How to Make the Ideal Slave. Now, dig the vision. Rule number one was unconditional submission. Keep them in place with authority, because rule number two was create inferiority. And Ye said that slavery was a choice, but let's be real clear. Rule three was take away their voice and instill fear. And hell yeah. I can see the passion in your eyes. I admire your perseverance for your fashion and your grind. But rule number four is why that hat was our demise. You keep the slave interested in the master's enterprise. Because rule number five was the province of education, information, recreation. Look. Hmm. Now, he just said a lot in that shit. But the main thing that I am, uh, you know what I'm saying, really tuned into is when he said, fuck, let's go back. I cannot see. He said, and Ye said that slavery was a choice, but let's be clear. Rule three was take away their voice and instill fear. And hell yeah, I can see the passion in your eyes. I admire your preservation, your fashion, and your grind. But rule number four is what that hat was our demise. You keep that slave interested in that master's enterprise. Now, we all know Kanye is for Trump. We we, we all know that. Or, or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that shit was just a stunt. Regardless. Regardless, regardless, regardless. We all know what Trump stands for. We all know he's our fucking president and we all know what the fuck he stands for. And when you when you wearing that red hat when you wearing that red hat talking about some make America great again, like this country was built off fucking the backs of fucking slaves and shit. Like, let's be honest here. Like, and it's like you putting on that red hat, it's like you can't even be thinking straight to think that anything that this man stands for is okay. And and in your head, you think that shit is cool. Like Kanye is a very smart man. I fuck with his shoes. I got a pair, a couple pair of Yeezys, not even gonna lie. His music is dope. But I feel like when he said slavery was a choice, that shit to me was like a slap in the fucking face. It's like, bruh, these people were scared shitless. Like, of course there were some that tried to rebel and what happened to them? It's not as if, like, motherfuckers chose to be snatched from their homes, beaten, raped, you know what I'm saying? Uh, raped to have lighter-skinned kids. Like, that was not a person's choice to do that. And, like, him saying that, it really made no sense. And I'm just like, bruh, how the fuck do you think that? How? How? Motherfuckers being ignorant is a choice. Motherfuckers being a bigot is a choice. But... Hundreds of years of slavery was not a choice for people. You think they chose to live this life? Come on now. Come on now, bruh. Come on. Come on. You listening to me? Teacher, we listening. Teacher. The progress of information. That's a psychological prison. Niggas have yet to come out because of slaves caught... Man, hold up. <laughs> That's a psychological prison. Niggas have yet to come out. If the slave master caught you learning, they cut your tongue out. Y'all hear me? Yes. 
Yes. If yes. the slave master caught you learning, they cut your tongue out. The segregation 100 years was so thorough. No wonder so many kids doing drugs in this cold world. Nigga, shout out J. Cole. <laughs> yeah. Mind blown. Look, hold up. Blown. I go off the top with an hour bill. I am just incredible. I'm a vegan with sour milk. All right, I quit. <laughs> yeah. 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 That fucking shit right there, bro. That shit, like, see, and motherfuckers don't like rappers like that. That's what I find to be so funny. Like, motherfuckers would rather listen to like mumble ass rappers before they give motherfuckers like him a chance because it's like he not he don't rap a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga just dropped so many fucking gems in this one freestyle that was what like. I want to say it was like seven minutes long. I don't know. But, and I'm pretty sure if people li just listen to this, if you don't know, you don't know. I don't know everything. I probably didn't even get half the shit that he was even saying because, you know, I'm just not, I'm not going to say I don't read, but also like, I'm not just like up on all the shit that I should be up on. So I need to do better with that. But I did catch some of the stuff that he said. And it's just like, damn. You don't even have to know really what he's talking about to know that he is dropping some fucking knowledge on you. But yeah, man, that was my reaction to the King Los freestyle. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big ass thumbs up for me. Drop down in the comment section below what else you would like for me to react to. I'm down for anything. Um, we really trying to get this channel up and rolling. Um, trying to get back to where I once was. Um, but yeah, and make sure you subscribe if you would like to. Um, no pressure, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't really feeling the videos, you don't have to subscribe because what the fuck is the point of subscribing to somebody's videos you're not even gonna watch? Let's be for real. Um, but yeah, man, we out this bitch. On the beat, so you know the beat, you fine. Talking, talking too much, my niggas pull up with that.